listen only mode. Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to discover more about basic plumbing service skills roof plumbing webinar. I'm Emma Thomas, Campaign Manager at VET at Pearson Australia and with me this afternoon to take us through the features of this new edition is, is Andrew Brock who's the Senior Acquisitions Editor for this title. Um, just quickly, hopefully we're going to answer all of your questions throughout this webinar. However, if you do have a question, please make sure you submit it to us and we'll loop back at the end and answer any remaining questions you may have. So on the agenda today, Andrew is going to take us through the qualifications and the competencies that basic plumbing services skills roof plumbing supports, uh, what you're going to love about this new edition, so some of the new features, time to get technical, so understanding the technology options that are available with this edition, how to save time, the resources that are going to be available if you do adopt, and how you can get your hands on a sample copy. I'm now going to hand over to Andrew who's going to take us through the qualifications and the competencies that Basic Plumbing Service Skills RIP Plumbing supports. Thanks, Emma. Uh, this new title, Basic Plumbing Service Skills RIP Plumbing, is authored by Owen Smith and has been written for CPC08, the Construction Plumbing and Services Training Package version 8, to address relevant competencies within these courses. Uh, those, you can see those three courses there. That's the Certificate 3 in Plumbing, uh, Certificate 3 in Roof Plumbing, and the Certificate 2 in Roofing and Cladding. Uh, please note that version 8 of the training was endorsed and released in December 2012. Now the competencies that Basic Plumbing Services Skills Roof Plumbing supports are listed there on the slide as you can see. Uh, now these are from the Common and the Roofing Stream. So the relevant roof plumbing competencies are there and also the common stream competency which is flash penetrations through roofs and walls that pertains to those uh, to the roof plumbing area. Now uh, when Owen Smith was writing this edition he made sure he addressed all core roofing stream competencies and as I mentioned earlier the relevant common stream competency that one there at the top uh, that's uh, 300 or 3021A uh, flash penetrations through roofs and walls. Now, Owen Smith, as you may or may not know, is also the author of our Basic Plumbing Services Skills Gas Services texts. That's the original one, the green one, and also the revised one, which is the yellow book. Um, Owen's been a plumbing teacher in the VET sector since 2001. He holds a degree in adult and vocational education, is a member of the Australian College of Educators, that's MACE, and was a foundation member of that organisation I'm sure you know well, NAPSTAG, the National Plumbing and Services Training Advisory Group. So he brings to this, um, this, this, this authoring experience, if you like, a high degree of practical and theoretical knowledge, both as a plumber and as a teacher. Now what you'll love about this resource, as I mentioned earlier, it's written to the latest version of CPC08 and is divided into two parts. Now part A, Roof Plumbing Fundamentals, chapters 1 to 9, provides learners with the foundation knowledge for all aspects of roof plumbing. It's, if you like, the, the underpinning knowledge. Now, the, the balance of the book, which is chapters 10 to 18, um, each of these chapters addresses a specific competency and refers back to part A, the fundamental chapters for underpinning knowledge where appropriate. Now, we chose this approach in conjunction with Owen so that we weren't duplicating content that was in the particular competencies, the nine competencies that this text addresses. So rather than duplicating that in each chapter from 10 to 18, we've referred back to chapters 1 to 9 for the relevant underpinning knowledge. Now, a key feature of this book is the fact that there's numerous examples throughout the text. And these are highlighted with the purple screen, as you can see up there on the slide. Now the examples are used to illustrate key processes and really show students how to perform these particular processes in the roof plumbing area. The content is carefully broken down using sort of easy to digest bite-sized chunks to make these concepts easier for students to grasp. I mean we're very aware that students approach roof plumbing with a, from a very practical perspective. So we've tried to, uh, in the structure of the book, and also in the layout of the book, 
make it as easily digestible as possible for students. And examples is one way we do that. Another way we do that is through a helpful step-by-step -step procedures. Now this is an, a new feature that we've incorporated into our plumbing books. Uh, we previously incorporated it into our uh, construction skills book by Glenn Coston. It proved very successful there, so we're now incorporating it into new plumbing titles and new additions as they come through. Now shown here on the PowerPoint slide uh, with the how-to pin icon backed with a green screen you know, to make them more apparent to students, to make them stand out more. And this sort of clearly sets out often tricky installation processes using a combination of illustrations, photographs and text. And within these three things you'll notice that there's quite a bit of uh, what we call labelling to ensure that students can see what the various components are of the particular item that's being used in the building process or the, or the roof plumbing process there. Another key feature of this book is something we're really excited about. It's uh, We've gone into partnership with uh, Bluescope Steel uh, and through their two affiliates, uh, Bluescope Steel and Bluescope Lysart, who produce the colour bond and the Lysart uh, lines of uh, roof plumbing materials. We've had open access to all of their illustrations, photographs and technical specifications. Now this really ensures that the text contains the most up-to-date product and technical information which is relevant to roof plumbers. And all of this material that they've supplied has been reviewed by them up until last week, ensuring that it is the most up-to-date material that roof plumbing students and indeed teachers will be able to see from this particular supplier. And as you know, there are, Bluescope is a, a key supplier of uh, materials in the roof plumbing area. Another key feature is, and this was uh, also done by Owen in his gas services books, the yellow boxes you can see in the example pages on this slide show clearly appropriate in context, and this is very important, in context references to Handbook 39 1997, which of course, as you well know, is the handbook for roof plumbing. These in context references at the appropriate point in the book ensure students are up to date with both legislation and Australian standards. And more importantly, they can apply these, the legislation and the Australian standard at the appropriate point within the material, within both the competency and within both and the underpinning knowledge also. So they know where that applies to what they're being taught. Now these combine nicely with the up-to-date technical specifications and guidelines provided by Bluescope Steel, Bluescope Lysart, which I, we mentioned in the previous slide. Now in keeping with the other four titles in our plumbing skills series, basic, service, basic plumbing services skills, roof plumbing has a four colour text design which brings key concepts and examples to life. Now there's more than 70 photographs 170 illustrations and 28 tables to enhance student understanding of these concepts and examples and clearly illustrate relevant processes and products. And I might point out that those photographs predominantly have been taken by Owen Smith who uh, has basically cited examples that he's used in his teaching and also in his work. Now, just wanted to take you through the accompanying e-text for basic plumbing services skills roof plumbing. Uh, I'll take you through some of the more pertinent features of this technology edition we have with the hard copy book. Now, I've used the basic plumbing services skills second edition e-text as an example of what the roof plumbing e-text will be like. It's still being developed. Now, the first question you may have is, what is the e-text? It's a product with great functionality and is in design to aid your teaching and learning and quickly move you into flexible and online delivery. Firstly, it is basically a customizable online version of the textbook. It's also browser-based, i.e. the e-text the e -text is viewed while online. This means that all of your personalization are available whenever you log in, and that's from any computer. It has the same page layout as the printed text, so it's easily identifiable with the printed text. So you and your students can use either e-text, printed text, or both, depending on the situation. 
Now the eText is also a fantastic tool to be used in the classroom as it has a smart board function. And this allows for certain areas of the text, e.g. a case study or an activity, to be discussed. And we're finding lecturers are offering, often using the eText to enhance their delivery by running it through a data projector when they're teaching within a classroom. Now making highlights of, as you work through the text is another great feature and it's useful for both students and teachers. This provides visual ease when one returns to the time content and can identify where important pieces of information are found. Highlights can be done in different colours, enabling to use what each enabling you to label what each highlight needs. For example, uh, important for exam, a, a useful example, uh, an important piece of information. Now, notes can also be added to highlighted content to make for better learning. Now, these notes can be easily retrieved, as you can see there in the, the left-hand navigation bar, and that's the second from the bottom prompt there. That's the notes. I suppose you're wondering how the e-text can be individualised for you and your class. Now, with notes, you can choose to make them hidden, i.e. students don't see, or shared, and students do see. And these are differentiated by colour, either the yellow or the green. You can create a hyperlink in a note, and this enables you to link out to additional information in terms of YouTube videos, useful websites, and readings. You'll find all of your notes and highlights you can go to find all of your notes and highlights. You can go to the notes manager in the left navigation sidebar. Another really key feature of the eText is the search feature. It's a big time saver in contrast to the hard copy text, as it allows a faster, more effective search of content. The search functionality allows you to limit your search to specific regions within the book, provide helpful page preview when searching, as you can see on the slide there, those example pages on the slide, search history is saved for you, so you can actually go back to those key pieces of information, or your students can when you need to, and sorts by relevance or chapter, and you can also limit the search to a section of the particular book, if you like, so that it does not become overwhelming. A key issue to also address is how the e-tech can be individualised for you and your class. And you can start by creating a course via the Settings Create New Course tab. Once you've created a course, you can go to the Settings tab, Customise eText to Review, Edit the Table of Contents of the book, and then you can hide or change the order of chapters, or you can indeed do that within sections or subsections within the chapter itself. Now this is useful if you choose to deliver the content in a specific way. Uh, you can choose to change the chapter order and hide content and reveal it as you proceed through the course. This gives you control as a teacher on managing your lesson and perhaps not overwhelming students with content if you want them to, spoke, to focus on specific areas slash competencies slash information. A really good feature of the eText is the editable PDF versions of the end of chapter worksheets. Now as you know with the plumbing books they have the end of chapter worksheets which students can choose to use as a reference tool, they can complete with them within the book, they can photocopy and submit them. But within the eText they're what's called editable or writable PDF files. So students can go to the appropriate tab within the eText they can download the worksheets for a particular chapter, they can complete them digitally, and then they can attach them to an email and submit them as formative assessment to you electronically. So this is a fantastic feature for flexible delivery and e-learning. Now for more information on e-text functionality, just visit that URL there. It will give you a complete overview on the Pearson e-texts. Another way to really save time is the accompanying resources we supply with the text and the e-text for adopters of it. Now these resources include solutions to the end of chapter worksheet questions, which makes marking quick and easy, PowerPoint slides for each chapter to get you ready to teach sooner, and to make images easily accessible, 
there's a comprehensive image bank of all 70 photographs and 170 illustrations that are within the text. It's available in this image bank. And they can use for both online, and you load it into your Moodle or what particular learning management system you use, and classroom delivery, and of course, they're for adopters of the book. Now, to help show you where tr training package content is covered, there will be a CPC08 version 8 mapping grid uh, that accompanies this text, which will map the chapters of the text to the appropriate competencies, but even more valuable than that, to the particular elements within the text. And that mapping will include all the underpinning knowledge and all the assessment via the worksheet questions. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Um, thank you very much for showing us through the features of this new edition, or of this edition, actually, of Roof Plumbing. Um, we've had a couple of questions come in, and the first one I've got is, how can eText be used to deliver assessment online? Uh, well, Emma, the end of chapter worksheets are provided, as I mentioned, as editable PDF files in the eText, and allow students to complete their end of chapter assessment digitally and email it to their RTO and or lecturers. So by that they can be working from home, they could be working within a computer lab on campus, they could be working within the library, they could be working uh, I guess wherever they can take their laptop and they've got Wi-Fi so they can then submit those electronically. Great, thanks Andrew. I've got another question and it's how could I teach from this book? Right, on that one, um, as I mentioned the way Owen structured this book is he didn't want to duplicate the competency-specific information that was in the nine competencies that it addresses. So he divided the text into two parts. Part A provides the root plumbing fundamentals, or the underpinning knowledge that students need to know. And part B is what is called roofing practice. And each of the nine chapters, that's chapters 9 to 18 in part B, addresses a specific competency. Now, part A can be referred back to when appropriate for the relevant underpinning knowledge. Great. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, that's the end of our questions for today. If you would like to request a sample copy or if you have any other questions, you can contact either your edu education consultant or the VET hotline. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, you can visit the website at www.pearson.com.au. Thank you very much.